Alrighty, so in this video uh, we're quickly going to check out like terms one more time. And after having a quick review of like terms, we're going to move on to something actually very similar, but it's going to be a new concept. It's called polynomials, and we're going to learn how to add polynomials today. Alright, so let's start by looking at uh, this question right here that we see in front of us. x plus 2 plus x. If you remember from before, like terms in this situation would be this one and this one. Okay, there's, there's an x there and an x there. If you remember how to add two like terms, you would tell me that we actually have two x's and we still have a 2 there. And we have just added this up. We have just gathered like terms, okay? Be careful, x plus x is not x squared. Okay, let's try the next question. This one's a little more complicated as you can see. Look at it carefully before you go jump and try it. What you do, one of the easiest ways to do this is to look at the first one right here, 3x squared. Look across and see if there's any uh, like terms. So you're probably noticing that this one and this one both have an x squared. They are like terms. So it's like saying three apples minus one apple. And we are left with two apples, or x squareds in this case. Okay, sometimes it's nice to cross them off when we're done. Okay, next we have negative 4x and we have a 7x over here. Let's put them together. If you put these two together, negative 4 and plus 7, you end up getting plus 3. And don't forget the x. Okay? And the last thing left is we just have a 5 sitting there. So we just write it again. We have just gathered like terms. By the way, notice the order that this is written in as well. There's an x squared there, an x, there's an invisible one there if you will, and the constant term which is the 5 on the end. This is called uh, descending order and so it's just a nice way that math textbooks will also have, uh, will, will usually have things ordered. Okay, so next we're going to move on to something called a polynomial. First of all, the definition of a polynomial, well poly means many, okay? And nomial means terms. Well, first of all, each one of these, the 5x squared, the 2x, and the negative 3 are all called terms. We have more than one term here. I guess you could say we have many terms, which is another reason why they call it a polynomial. Um, so just a little bit of uh, trivia here. What do you think the name is of a single term all by itself? Let's say we just had 5x squared here. Well, that is called a monomial. What if we just had two of them? 5x squared plus 2x. That is called a binomial because there's two of them. Notice we have three terms here. Can you come up with the answer? Three terms is called a trinomial. I heard you say that. Just like a tricycle has three tires, a trinomial has three terms. Okay, so this is a polynomial in front of us. By the way, is there any like terms in this situation? There is not. There's no like terms. This polynomial is just a polynomial. In fact, it's a trinomial, and there's nothing we're going to do to it right now. We just want to look at it. Wow. Okay, enough looking at that one. Let's go to another question. How would we add two polynomials? Well, this is a polynomial, and this is a polynomial over here. All right? We want to add these things up. By the way, this is a trinomial, as you can see. And this one also is a trinomial. So let's start adding these two. The first step in adding or subtracting, but we won't talk about subtracting yet. We'll talk about that in the next lesson because this would just be too long and I don't want to make you fall asleep. Um, the first step is just to get rid of the brackets. Well, when you're adding polynomials, you can just get rid of the brackets. You can just rewrite it without the brackets. It's that easy. So just tell me if I'm making a mistake here, but hopefully I've got it all right. So we've got 2x squared plus 4x plus 5. Notice I'm just removing the brackets. Whoops. Oh well. I've got the negative 3x. 
Do you remember what happens when we have a positive and a negative together? Do you remember which one wins? Okay, I hear you say it. The negative wins. It's a negative 3x plus 2x squared minus 1. And the next step, what we want to do is just look around and see if we can uh, gather like terms. And then we are actually done. Adding polynomials is not much different than just gathering like terms. So we have 2x squared here. Any other 2x squareds? We have one. Let's put them together. 2x squared plus 2x squared. What is that? You got it. 4x squared. Okay, next one. We've got an x right here, and we've got negative 3x right here. Put them together. What are we left with? A positive, or a plus, 1, or just positive x. You don't have to put the 1. Remember, the 1 is so often invisible. Okay the last two. These are constants, they're just numbers. We got a 5 here, we've got a negative 1 here. What's 5 minus 1? 4. Okay, we have put everything together here. We now have what's called, well I should actually ask you, is it a monomial, a binomial, or a trinomial? You're probably telling me it's a trinomial. Anyway, we're done this question. We've just added up uh, two polynomials. Remember? The steps are just remove the brackets by just making them go away. When you're adding, you can just do that. Then gather the like terms and you're done the question. Okay, instead of doing another question, I'd like you to try and practice this. So hopefully I'll find some practice for you. Thanks.